is Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create folders for different departments, data sources, data sets by using report manager. So this is where you have developed your reports. Now you want to deploy them and you will be deploying the report to the report server. And to deploy the reports, we have to set up some folders where we would like to deploy those reports. We have to uh, put a data set and data source folders where our data sources or shared data sets will be deployed. So I'm going to go ahead and show you all those details how we would do that. So first of all, we'll find the report URL which is installed on the machine. So in this case, let's say you have installed reporting services on your machine or you are remotely logged in to one of the server and you would like to find the report server URL. Uh, we, we are going to do that one. Second, if uh, uh, you are a DBA and uh, you would like to take a look, uh, okay, which report server is installed and then you will need to provide to your developers, uh, you can also use the same pointer. So let's go ahead and first uh, do this one uh, and then uh, we will be also second point how to open report server and report manager. So find the URLs and then open them. So once we are done with that, then we'll come to the next one. Now you go to the search and in the search, you are going to type a SQL server. Reporting services configuration manager. So once you type SQL Server report, uh, it will uh, bring this uh, uh, SQL Server 2014, in my case is 2014, in your case it could be 2016 or 12, whatever. So you, you click uh, Reporting Services Configuration Manager. So once you click that one, it is going to ask you, okay, you want to launch this program? Yes. Okay. Once uh, we launch the program, it is uh, bringing us to this wizard. It's all called the Reporting Services Configuration Manager. So now it is telling us to specify a SQL server name, click the find button or select the report server instance to configure. So in our case, uh, we already know the server name. So it is uh, done there and we know that report server instance. Uh, if you have multiple instances on the same server, you will find them in the drop down. In my case, I have only one. So I'm going to go ahead and connect. Once I connect that one, if it is stopped, I can uh, start from here. So this service can be start from here. And next, uh, you have service account, whatever you are using uh, to run that uh, um, report server, uh, uh, reporting services, uh, uh, that's uh, specified here. And uh, now, uh, some sometime it, it is using a built-in account and I recommend using a service account. And if you will use a service account, you have to go back and provide the permissions to your databases and all that so it can access those report server databases. There are two report server databases. They are created once you install and configure reporting services. So next part is the web service URL. So this is where our report server URL is. So that's something different from report manager URL. So there are two of them. So first is a report web server URL, service, sorry, web service URL. So this is where if we open this one, we are going to see the directory structure. We'll see our directories, then we will see the files put in there. I'm going to leave this one open and then we are going to go to the next one and say report manager URL. Click on that one and it ends pretty much with the reports and then you have instance name with it. So it has your machine name, port name and then reports uh, uh, keyword underscore your SQL server instance name. So I'm going to click that one and uh, this is the first screen we'll see in the report manager. So now as we would like to deploy our reports here and uh, then give permission to the user to see the reports by using this URL. We need to go ahead and create some folders. So I'm going to click on a new folder and uh, this will be very new for very first new folder. I'm going to call this one data sources because we will, we will uh, deploy our data sources to the uh, report server as well. So we have to have a folder where we would like to deploy. You can deploy anywhere, maybe on the home. There will be tons of uh, data sources uh, sitting there. But I like to manage uh, my stuff. Uh, 
and uh, this is the way I create a folder and then I will deploy my data sources only to data sources of folder next I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder I'm going to call this one data set or data sets and now this is the point where we are done with pretty much what are most important folders for report to, uh, parts such as data sources and data sets next is our reports itself so new uh, new folder and i'm going to call this one sales you can call it sales you can sales uh, call sales underscore reports whatever you like use some good name in convention ne next uh, go ahead and add a new folder let's call this one hr and uh, let's create one more folder and this is going to be let's say we will say this is for our uh, QA testing reports or testing reports whatever you want to name later uh, we can change that the, in this till, till as of now we have learned uh, how to open uh, reporting services configuration manager uh, and uh, we went to search and find it and then uh, we were able to open uh, web service URL for report server and then uh, we were able to open a report manager URL so report manager URL is the place uh, where we will be managing the reports uh, and uh, as you can see I'm creating the folders as of now and then we will be deploying the reports uh, we can uh, provide permissions to the user to see these uh, reports uh, and in different folders uh, and uh, publish these reports uh, to different folders as well now next part in our list is uh, okay we have created different folders uh, how to delete folders or rename folders by uh, uh, in the existing uh, if they are existing uh, in the report manager web interface uh, and next uh, let's go ahead uh, and do that so let me go back to the now we decided oh okay QA testing is not a correct name uh, so we would like to just have testing reports uh, and I'm gonna do one thing you will be clicking here on this small uh, drop down arrow and say manager once you go there you will see the name you can remove the QA part and just leave testing and if you would like to say reporting at the end you can write that as well so apply and come back to home and now you can see the name is change let's do for HR reports so we'd like to say HR underscore reports so click here right next to it and say manage and then go to the name and say underscore reports or sorry apply come back to home and we are all done here in the testing I said reporting and that's not correct so I'm gonna call it reports apply so this is how you will be naming renaming the existing folders next uh, you can create the subfolders let's say in this Asia sorry uh, for the sales uh, we have uh, different regions uh, so we can go ahead and open a sales folder and then inside uh, we can create subfolders once you open a folder you will see right here okay we are in this folder and new folder will be created here let's say we say Asia reports uh, and then we can go ahead and uh, create new folder Europe reports and then finally we'll say North America reports so we have created a subfolders in our one of the folder called sales so you have to click on the main folder and then once you are in that folder you will see right here and then create a new folder so that's how you will be creating your folders and uh, our next point what we would like to do rename we have done that and uh, we need to move the folders uh, from one folder to another folder and then finally we'll be hiding uh. so let me take back uh, and uh, go here now in this case let's say we have created this Asia Europe and North America folders in the sale folder so if you see here we have sale folder here but uh, uh, later I decided now okay they should not be under the sales uh, folder they should be actually in the testing report folder so what I can do here I can go back to the sales 
I can preview them in a detail view and once I click that one I have I can select them here all of them together and say move once I say move uh, a tree structure will pop up right here and it will tell me okay where you would like to move them in my case I they are already under the sales I would like to put them under the testing reports so you can see the location here backslash testing reports if you have subfolder you can select that subfolder and move them there so they will come up right here so select from here and then hit ok whatever the reports will be in these the folders they will also move with the, the folder so let's go back to home and now we should have those folders in our testing reports folder so you as you can see that now I'm in the title view so uh, this time sometimes it is easy to work in the title view and especially when you have a lot of reports and uh, you you can have description so you can see that as well and uh, if you click on the title view again uh, it is going to convert the sorry detail view so uh, I'm, I'm sorry when you, you you are in a now right now we are in the title and if we would like to go to detail it will take us to the detail so this one is detail but now it is asking okay you want to go to the title view yes so this is how it is so you can click here and it will take you to detail or the title so here in the testing reports those folders are moved and finally let's say if we would like to delete or hide some of them we can do that as well so if I want to delete the entire folder so if I would like to say sales and I can go ahead and delete it here it will delete and say okay now if I'm in detail view I can select from here and say delete so it's your choice if you are deleting multiple reports instead of one at a time you can come to the detail view and then select multiple files or the folders and just delete them once you are deleted you cannot really bring them back so there is a isn't really control z part here and uh, you have to redeploy them recreate the folders and everything so make sure you want to delete the reports so let's delete the sales folder it okay so we have deleted the last thing uh, let's say you have some uh, um, reports uh, and one one of the scenario I see that uh, our users uh, were asking okay uh, if we can hide some folders or reports uh, so there isn't really straightforward way we can hide them uh, but we can try so if uh, I will go here let's say if I use your reports I go to manage and one of the property here sorry here in the properties let's say hide in the title view so if somebody is looking in the reports and all that in the title view then they will not see this one so apply Azure reports uh, now if we go here and you can see this is kind of grayed out so if I go to title view I do not see these uh, I do not see Azure reports folder because in we are in the title view as of now and in the title view it is uh, uh, the folder is uh, hidden if I go back to the detail again I will see that folder but that will be grayed out so still you will be able to see the reports you will be uh, go to the folder nothing is changed but uh, if uh, you would like to see in the okay in the title view you do not want to see some folders then you can set that property to the hide maybe it is useful at some points so let's say you have a lot of reports and when you see them in the you have set like okay in the title view when I would like to see I would like to see only these specific reports so you hide those other ones and whenever you are in the title view you see the required reports and when you want to see all the reports you click on the detail and it will give you all those reports and folders what you would like what you have on the report server so thanks very much for watching this video and i will see you guys in the next video